Michael to set him among the princes and to make him inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. It doesn't belong to men, it is the Lord's. The earth is the Lord's. The earth is the Lord's. And the earth is the Lord's.
strengthen your people. You know where we are weak. You know where we fail. You know where we can't stand. You know where we are inadequate. You know us more than we know ourselves. The Bible says he knoweth our frame and knows that we are dust. We cannot survive. We cannot make it. But the Spirit itself help us with our infirmities. The Spirit will help you. The Spirit will support you. The Spirit will help you. The Spirit will work you. This day, oh my God, where you are designed to fail, where you are designed to fall, where you are designed to be weak, what is designed to hurt you, as you lift up your voice, the Spirit is sound with you, with your infirmities, with your weaknesses. My God, let every weakness be covered up in the name of Jesus. Let every weakness be supported in the name of Jesus. Where you cannot stand by the strength of the Lord, you will stand. Where you are inadequate, by the strength of the Lord, you will be adequate. Where you cannot hold things together, the Lord will hold it together for you. My God, in the realm of the Spirit, you receive strength as you come to the throne of grace. The Bible says, let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace to obtain, my God, mercy and find grace in our time of need. In my God, my fellow brother, for the time of need, you need grace. Let's 
sickness. My God, we command healing. We declare healing. Healing for your body. Healing for your spine. Healing for your kidney. Healing for your stomach. Healing for your thyroid. Healing for your gastrin. My God, healing for your womb. Your ovaries. Your teeth. The devil is a liar. My God, your heart has been healed. Your lungs have been cleared. Your brain. Whatever weakness. Whatever error. Whatever flaw has been healed right now. You are standing in. Even for your friends and your loved ones. Anyone sick by the strength of the Lord. We send prayers. We send prayers. We send prayers. We send prayers. My God, be cathos. Let the healing power of God be released. We cast every affliction. We cast every sickness. We cast every diabetes. We cast every hypertension. We cast every spirit of premature death. We cast COVID 19. We cast it right now in your life. We cast everything that is meant to strike you down. We cast it now. We cast it now. We cast fibroids. We cast migraine. We cast infections. We cast fever. We cast whatever it is. Tumors and cancers. We are cast. 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 Let the weakness in your body right now be a cast in the body of your father and your mother and your colleagues and your beloved and your family and your children. My God, we declare right now in the sickness, chronic or acute, my God, lift that up prayers and declare that the sickness dry up in your body. They go to go Let sicknesses be a cancer. Let sicknesses be a cancer. Let weaknesses be a cancer. We command healing. Let the healing power of God be released. Be healed, somebody. Be healed right now. Receive your healing. Declare, I receive my healing. I receive my healing. Healing for my family. Healing for my father. Healing for my loved ones. Receive the healing of God. You are healed. Body, soul, and spirit. You are preserved in the name of Jesus. Let go of this one. Let the day. Let the day. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray right now. You have no idea the things that go on. In the realm of the spirit in darkness and today we are going to pray we are going to pray in this sickness they bought for you in this sickness that they bought for you yet to manifest already manifested our ah, feelings in your body that you are yet to confirm anxiety depression headaches chest pain the devil is a liar oh we declare and we profess that that sickness dries up right there they want you to go and check that thing for them to give you a demonic report but even before you consult the doctor you are consulting the king of kings jehovah the healer and you are going to be healed right now they want you to go and check that headache for them to tell you it's something dangerous, but the devil is a liar. By the time you are checking, there will be nothing there. By the time you are checking, there will be a testimony. By the time you are checking, there will be a miracle. Yesterday, one lady went to check. My God, she went to check just by declaring joy and declaring that it was a day of joy. That lady went to check and five boys that were in a womb said, not the good news. That the medical reporter that said that the five boys were gone. Oh my God, I came to declare unto somebody, tap into that prophecy, that you can get your healing, you can get your deliverance, you can get your deliverance right now. I sense the healing power of God. My God, I sense the healing power of God in your body right now. She sent me the report, she said, and if you can see it on your phone, five boys were God, the old report and the new report, and body and the womb that was filled with five brothers, has suddenly disappear our ovaries that disappear were suddenly produced again our fluids that were filled up filling the tubes had just disappeared somebody we are tapping into that miracle mm -hmm. and we are declaring right 
right now that let the healing power of God reach you in your home, reach your people in their office. Right now, there are people upon their sick beds that must receive the healing today. I will prophesy in the name of Jesus. The spirit is silent. Help us as with our infirmities in the area of your body that you can even feel a slight pain. Don't wait for it to get chronic. Don't wait for it to get complicated. We are drying it up right now. My God, in the little headache, in the minute pain in the chest, in the migraine, no matter how long it has persisted, by prayer we can to address the condition in your body. They cannot live. They cannot survive. They will not be there after today. Say by prayer. Oh my God, say by fire. Say by declare. As I tap into the testimony of the servant of the Lord to overcome and prevail. The Bible declares and they overcame by the blood and the testimony. Therefore, by this testimony of healing, I declare, let the healing power of God prevail, 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 prevail in my life. I declare anything that is an affliction, sickness, infirmity, tumors, growth, fibroids, migraines, heart attack, hypertension, diabetes in my life right now or yet to manifest as I lift up my voice. I declare, let such a king be a curse, 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 dry up, say dry up. My God, le moko shua tikata, atele broko shua tikata, Bible says by faith, the elders obtain a good report. My God, I don't know the demonic medical report that you have received, but I sense healing touching somebody. I sense God touching somebody. I sense the hand of the Lord stretch out to heal many. The healing power of God is available. There is healing in the building. There is healing on the platform. There is healing right now. Touching you. Receive the touch of the Lord. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. By the mantle of my Father. Jesus, not just for you, but for your loved ones. And the one that is on assignment, and the one that is on a demonic hit list that has been struck by any infirmity by the hand of the Lord, let that arrow return. Let that arrow return. Let the arrow return. 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 You will not be sick. Tell somebody, I will not be sick. Can okay. we declare as the Bible says we should declare? We speak the kingdom language that says, Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the sick say, I am well. Let the poor say, I am rich. My God, say, I am well. Say, I am healthy. You are healthy. You are healthy. I declare health. My God, I declare health. The Bible says, Is there no balm in Gilead? Why then is the health of my people not recovered? I declare divine recovery. You are recovering your strength. It was not so from the beginning. This is not how God made you. An enemy did this, and today it is returning to the enemy in the name of Jesus. By corporate prayer, my God, as we agree together in the place of prayer over your health, we declare right now, let that affliction come to an end. Let that be healing. Let that be healing. Declare I am healthy. My family is healthy. I am not sick, I am not down, I am not broken, let the weak say I am strong, therefore I declare, I am not sick, I am not hypertensive, I am not a sickler, I am well, I curse every affliction in the name of Jesus. The spirit itself help us with our infirmities. With infirmities means sicknesses, weaknesses. My God, the devil is a liar. Oh my God, it is prayer that can deal with it. My God, it is prayer therapy. You have tried paracetamol, you have tried, you have tried amlodipine, amosaslina, you have tried chemotherapy, you have tried everything. But can I introduce you to prayer therapy? My God, before there was ever paracetamol, before there was ever amlodipine, God was healing hypertension, God was healing stroke, God was healing. 
prayer was making it work for people. And I prophesy over your life. Today the prayer therapy is going to work for you. Prayer therapy by the Spirit is going to work for your father. Declare anyone that you know that is sick. Mm -hmm. Can you declare they are healed? Can you declare healing for them? Declare healing for your children. Declare healing for your spouse. Declare healing for your family. Declare healing for your loved ones. I prophesy over your life. Rebecca, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Miss Kuti, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Nana Centra, I declare you are healed. Andy, you are healed. Esi, you are healed. Elpina, you are healed. Patricia, you are healed. I prophesy over Calvin, over Sarah, over Dinah. My God, you are healed. Astrid, you are healed. I prophesy over Rebecca, over Ahab, that you are healed. Your family is healed. I command healing. My command healing. Sylvia, you are healed. I prophesy Kessia, you are healed. Lizzie, you are healed. Nana, you are healed. Araba, you are healed. I prophesy as you stand in for anyone connected to you. Gloria, you are healed. Cliff, you are healed. Frimboma, you are healed. Dinah, you are healed. Rich, you are healed. Mani, you are healed. I prophesy over Gideon, over Ramona, over Jetina. My God, Patricia, that you are healed. I tell you, you are healed. Sarah, you are healed. Gloria, you are healed. Ewa, you are healed. Azedia, you are healed. Abigail, you are healed. I prophesy over Hetia, you are healed. Ephua, you are healed. My God, Koke, you are healed. Baby, you are healed. I declare over Ephria, there is healing. Over Esther, over Duke, over Daniela, over Bella. My God, I prophesy over Patricia, you are healed. Hetty, let the healing power, let the healing power, let the healing grace, let the spirit of healing, my God, be released. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God, you are healed. You have a testimony. Louis, you have a testimony. Just as this lady shared a testimony, you will share your testimony. I declare I will share my testimony. I will share the testimony of my healing. Declare that you will share the testimony of your healing. Every day and what God has in store. And I sense today is going to be a day for your healing. And you will share that testimony. You will share that testimony. You will share that testimony. You will share that Testimony, a testimony of your healing. Oh my God, it disappears and it disappears today. Testimony of healing for your father, for your mother, for any loved one on a sick bed. They will not remain there. You will share your testimony. You will share your testimony. You will share your testimony. You also will see the goodness of the Lord. I declare anything that must leave you for you to testify about your healing. Let that thing live now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God, you will share your testimony of your healing. Declare, I will share my testimony of healing. The testimony about my father's healing, about my mother's healing, about my sister's healing, about my friend's healing. We declare right now, let there be light in your life. Oh my God, let there be light in your life. My God, let there be light in your life. Let there be light. My God, one of the things that happens in the morning is that there is light. But light is not just the appearance of the sun. Light is the disappearance of darkness. And today, any darkness over your health, any darkness over anything that is yours, we declare and we speak. We don't need to turn darkness to more. All you need to do is that light must appear. Healing must appear for sickness to disappear. Don't fight the sickness. Let the healing appear. And it is the automatic disappearance of sickness and affliction. Right now, we declare light for that sickness. Right now, let light appear. Let there be light in your health, light in your finances, light in your family, in the area of darkness, in the area the enemy has hijacked. The prophesy and we declare that the breaking of the morning, as morning lights up our day, let there be light, let there be light, let there be light in my business, light in my family, light in my affairs, light in my health. Let the darkness disappear. Darkness disappear. For the light shine in darkness. And the darkness cannot stand it. By prayer we declare. As the light of the healing power of God enters your life. I don't know what that sickness is. It disappears. It disappears. It disappears. It disappears. Oh my God. You may not need physical healing. But you may need a financial healing. 
Jesus. You don't need emotional healing, but uh, you may need a physical healing. My God, it is coming to you. Whatever form of healing you need, everybody in their own. Some are physically strong, but financially, you know, they, they have some affliction, they have some tumors, they have some cancer, they have some gaps. The devil is alive. Whatever form of healing, yeah. the Bible says the spirit helps us with our infirmities. It does not name it. It may be physical, it may be financial, sick, whatever sickness, the spirit can solve it. The spirit helps us, not our friends, not the doctor, not even the man, but by God. Anything that is in your body, anything that is in your life, that is an affliction, that is an infirmity. Financial infirmities are disappearing. My God, mental infirmities are disappearing right now. My God, barriers against your healing are giving way right now. You have no chance and choice but to be healed. The devil is a liar. Healing is entering now. Healing is entering now. Power is entering now. Light is coming now. In the name of Jesus. We take advantage to address every other situation in your life. We are addressing it. We are addressing it. My God, we came to address the devil. We came to address the darkness. We came to address some things. We came to confront them in the place of prayer. We declare, let anything stand in us. That must go down. Say, go down. Let the powers of darkness perish. Amen. Anything sponsoring that sickness, any weakness, any altar, any principality, any power, anything in your body, my God, we give it to the blood. We hand it over the blood to the blood. We declare, let it be flushed out. 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 We flush it out. 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 My God, can you cleanly sweep your family? Sweep your family. The blood is like a broom. It is sweeping away things. It is flushing away things. It is causing things to be wiped away. My God, anything that is a stain, anything that is a stain, anything that is a mark of shame in your life, by the blood, we wipe it off. We blot it out. Is it sickness? Is it a tag of hypertension? Is it a tag? What are they calling you? What have they been naming you? What have they called you? What do the doctors call you? The devil is a liar. We are wiping it out. We are blotting it out. And they writing against you. And they writing on your folder. My God, any demonic report, anything they have tagged you with. You are hypertensive. You are diabetic. You are sickle cell. My God, you are you are you are HIV. Whatever they have tagged you with, whatever is on your folder, in any hospital, in any shrine, in any locker, by prayer, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, we blot it out, 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 we blot it out. Oh, everything that is an error in our life, we correct it in the name of Jesus. 
the morning is also a time to correct errors in the night. Mm -hmm. Any error that happened in the night, mm -hmm. we correct that error. I love what the scripture says. I love first kings. I love that scripture. First kings. My God, my God, my God. Loco Sikatarabra. Lima. First Kings chapter 13. Let's go there and read and read that scripture. He said, and verse first Kings chapter 3, verse, verse 16. There came two women that were hallowed unto the king. Yes, 
Suicidal thoughts is not your point. Look how beautiful you are. It is not your portion. Whatever is not your portion, declare it today. My God, by prayer, by fire, oh God, let's see how she corrected it. And to look what she sent the matter before the kid. And before the kid, we know how the story ended. In the at the end of the day, my God, the woman got what was hers. I declare what is yours is coming back to you. My God, your health is being restored. Your finance is being restored. The original destiny that before you became a clot of blood in the womb of your mother was released for you. It's coming back to you. In the swap, in the switch, in the typology of a delay, in the hijacking that has gone on, we declare it is over. Errors are corrected. The morning season is a time where errors are corrected. Errors are corrected. Errors are corrected. And my God, I love to correct errors the way my class one teacher does. The way she does it is that when you are correcting the error, you do it three times, my God. So that it stays. I declare it is not coming once. It is going to come again and again and again and again. I prophesy over somebody. You are not just going to be healed. You have enough help for you and your family. I prophesy over somebody. Not just one God. Not just one grace. Not just one miracle. Not just one testimony. My God, but in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, you are getting three portions in the mighty name of Jesus. I must have been corrected in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. You will not just have healing. You will be able to heal somebody. Your prayer will be able to heal somebody. You will not just have money. You will be giving people money. That is what I'm talking about. My God, you will not have just, you will not have peace. Your presence will exude peace for everybody that does not have peace. My God, this month of peace, you are going to have it more. And Jesus said, when I give you, I don't just give you just enough. I give you more than enough. That is it. That is correction. The error is going to be corrected once, twice, thrice, and over and over again. That's how my class one teacher taught me to do it. Therefore, any error in your body, any shifting, any, any circulatory, respiratory, my God, gastrointestinal, neurological, my God, I prophesy, in the musculoskeletal, my God, I declare over your life, in the lymphatic cells, my God, I declare over your life, right now, reproductive organ failure, we declare the errors are corrected in the name of Jesus. Can you declare right now that my errors are corrected in the name of Jesus? Just gonna be in you, it's gonna exude from you. When you enter, you are that will be here. When you enter the place, my God, you start getting here. Where to start getting Joseph was so blessed that when he entered the place, the place was blessed. That is your portion. That is your portion. You have risen this morning, and the morning is for correcting errors in the night. Errors that took place in the morning in the night. And I declare this morning I take charge by the altar of the servant of God and by the gathering of the saints of prayer and take charge. Errors in our life have been corrected. Synergy in the place of prayer. Two are green in the place of prayer. We have moved mountains of sicknesses in your life. We have moved issues and tribulations and afflictions in your life. We have moved them out. They are no longer your portion. They are no longer in your system. They are no longer in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Lord bless you and favor. Mm -hmm. Remember that in the morning. It's when you correct errors that you place in Oh, yes. Don't give for the picture. Share that link right now. Connect to somebody who will listen to them. Let them also collect some errors. Just click that like button. Don't waste that. Just click it. Click that like. Click that share button. Let somebody correct their errors during the day. Let somebody correct correct their errors. A lot of things happen in the night. Bible says the night season is the time and the power of darkness and evil. And therefore, when we rise in the morning, we use it to correct anything that took place. In the visitation, they visited your children, your business, and the thing that happened in front of your shop, in front of your office, on your seat, things they poured, every error is being corrected right now. What you know and what you do not know, what you sense and what you do not sense, it is being corrected, no matter who did it, no matter where they did it. It is done in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a blessed day. And a 
power free, a sickness free, infirmity free, day in the name of Jesus, because all errors are corrected. See you same time tomorrow, 6. Share that way.